another binomial example. We'll just do a FOIL here. And this only deals with numbers, no variables. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times the negative square root of 2 is negative 6 root 2. And here we have 6 times the positive square root of 2, so that's plus 6 root 2. And here we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, and there's a negative sign in there, so it's minus the square root of 2 squared, which is just 2. These terms cancel out. Plus 6 root 2 and minus 6 root 2 cancel out, and we're just left with 36 minus 2 which is 34. In this next example, I have 12a times the square root of 8a to the fifth over 6 times the square root of a cubed. Well, immediately I can see this 12 and this 6 will cancel out, leaving me with a 2 there and just a 1 down at the bottom, which I can leave out. So I have 2a times the square root of 8a to the fifth over the square root of a cubed. So let's rewrite this as 2a times the square root of the 8 is going to be a 4 times 2, and the a to the fifth is going to be a squared times a squared times a. So I'll factor that just to make the perfect squares apparent. And down on the bottom, the 6 is gone. I have the square root of a cubed, which I'll write as a squared times a. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to keep this 2a in my answer in the numerator. This 4, though, is under the radical, so that's the square root of 4, which is just a 2. So I'm going to have another 2 here, and this 4 is now taken care of. These a squareds, that's a a squared times a squared, or a squared squared. So that thing, the square root of a squared squared is just a squared. So I bring it a squared out, and now those two guys are accounted for. And up top, I'm left with a 2 and an a under the radical. So I'll write that, square root of 2a. Now, down below, you can see this a squared under the radical. It comes out front as just an a, so I'm left with a times the square root of a. Now, let's see what can cancel out. Well, this a can cancel out one of those, and this square root of a cancels out this one because it's up here as a square root. And so it simplifies quite a bit. I'm left with a 2 times a 2, which is a 4, and an a squared right there, 4a squared, and a square root of 2. So 4a squared times the square root of 2.